Hi and welcome back to a new video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to create an eBay views bot uh, which can be controlled with Discord commands. Before I get into that, I um, just want to let you guys know that you should subscribe because I'll be doing a lot of giveaways uh, and you should also join the Discord server and I'll have a link to that in the description below. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Uh, first thing you need is your own Discord server. So if you haven't got one, do create a quick one. Uh, I've created my own Discord server uh, here. Just going to show you guys. Um, but then the next thing we need to do is create a bot and we need to register it with Discord. So, first thing is go to Discord's developer portal and you can get there through this link here. I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, and on the top right, you can hit new application. So, we can name this anything. So, I'm going to call it eBay views bot I'm going to hit create uh, next thing we need is to create the bot itself so we can click add bot yes uh, and now we've got a bot uh, now we need to add that into our discord server where we do that is hit this then URL generator check the bot uh, but uh, check the bot uh, box and we're going to give this bot uh, administrator permissions and you can do whichever one you want but for this purpose we'll just use administrator at the bottom you'll get a generated URL which you can copy and paste into your browser and that will allow you to choose which server you want to add it to I'm going to add it to this one the one I just created hit authorize There we go. If I go into it, there we go. eBay views bot joined the party. I actually did a quick test before that, and uh, that's why it, it looks like there are two, but there's only the one. Okay, now we've got that. Uh, next thing is you need your token, which you should have copied here. I actually forgot to copy it, so I'm going to reset and grab the token, and I'll just do that on the side now. Okay, now I've got my token. I've copied it. We can start uh, creating the bot. So. We can create a new file, I'm going to call this bot.py and first thing we need to do is actually connect to Discord so you can use the Discord um, Discord library uh, to install that open up a terminal and you can type in pip install discord I've already got it but um, you guys want to install it then we're going to put in our token here you shouldn't really show anyone this, but I'm going to delete the application afterwards, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and now we've got a token that we need to create a client with Discord. So this is how we interact with Discord. So now what we want to do is whenever we uh, a message is sent on Discord, on that server, uh, we want to interact or do something with it. So this is how you do that. It's, it's, uh, it's an event, and what we're going to do is f on message message. So basically, what this is saying is, once an event occurs on a message, so whenever a message um, hap, uh, is sent, we're going to grab that message and we can do something to it. So what we want to do is first we want to check whether it's a bot or not. So the way we do that is check the message author is equal to client dot uh, user so if the, me if the author of the message is the bot then we don't do anything because we don't want uh, recursive activity happening so now what we can do is uh, we can start looking into the message itself so if the if I'm gonna say if uh, there's um, an exclamation mark followed by views in message dot content. Uh, I'm going to say the response is hi, and then we do a wait uh, client dot. Uh, let me just check my message dot dot send, and then we send the response. 
And then what we can do is to run it, we can run that with a token. Okay. And this is just a quick test. So if I type in this into Discord, it should just send me hi. So I can run that. Uh, and this is just going to stay running and you're not going to see much activity. But if I go into Discord and I type in views, my bot says hi. So that's working perfectly. So now what we want to do is we want it to take an eBay link and give it some views. So what we need to use is the requests library. Uh, I'm going to close that. Um, and you can install that again with pip install requests. I've already got it. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to check the message content. So if, if that's a message, and we're going to say the. So the way I want the the commands to work is that I'm going to just put in comments here. You're going to say views here. Yeah? then the number of views and then the link that's how I want it to, to work so what I'm going to do is so number of views equals message dot content dot split um, so what because there's spaces in between each um, each string but within the string there's multiple um, spaces I'm going to split by the spaces and then I'm going to take and I'll create an array and I'm going to get the, the second element of the in Python we we index by zero so it's gonna be the first one and the link will then be the same thing but two and once that happens, we're going to then say for i in range int number of views. So what's happening here is I'm going to iterate through the number of views, but I'm going to, because the number of views is going to be a string, I'm going to change it to an integer, iterate through that, and I'm going to uh, use the request library to make a request to the URL that many times. Oh, it's called a link. And then I can say added. I think there's an F string. Added number of views used to link. Actually, um, actually I'm just going to say that. And before that, I'm going to say adding that many views. So just to quickly go through it, so once it receives a message, it's going to first check whether the message content has this. Then we're going to check the message content, see if the first part, uh, the second part of the message content gives you the number of views and then the second part should give you the link um, and what we're going to do is we're going to send a response we're going to send a message saying adding x number of views and we'll iterate through the number of views and uh, grab the link multiple times and then at the very end we're going to say added that many views and then we can and we're just going to be running that So I just created a quick test product, so right now it's got one view, but once I take this link and I go into Discord and I say views, and to add 50 into that link, it's going to be adding those views. So now it says added views, let's have a look. If I I've got 55 page views. There we go. And that's how you create a uh, eBay Discord bot. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do, please leave a like um, and subscribe. 
and comment any other video suggestions you guys have. Uh, thank you again and I'll see you next time.